Is it, it you went across the road? We might go disc golfing or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the plan is. But I'm on my way to my parents' house right now. We're going to make a plan. And uh, so I thought I'd bring Tiberius with me. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. So, yeah. This is such a beautiful day. So we all just went to a local park and we're all playing disc golf. Avery's here, mom's here, Brian's here, the whole gang's here. Um, and Noah's, I talked Noah into coming to meet up with us so he's gonna come down here. And we're all just playing disc golf and I've never done it before so I'm learning. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So, wait, I don't remember where I put, I think mine was over here somewhere. I have to go find my golf or my uh, disc because I was way off. This is how off I was. Way over here. Ah, I got branches in my hair. Hi, Gavin. Hey. I think I can throw it a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Should I go? Can I just go like whenever? Or? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna throw my disc. Ready for this? I'm gonna be like way off. <laughs> it went way over there. It went way over there. It went way. I'm aiming for over here, and it flew and went way over there. I suck at this. <laughs> oh, there's a bridge. Okay, you gotta go to the bridge.
Yeah, just be careful crossing the road. Okay. I'm, not bringing... All right, I'll see you I'm recording. Okay. Went all the way across the highway. Yeah, the I got that. Across the river and through the woods. <clears throat> yeah, that's what, well, that's what I should have done is get him like, I want to get like a harness and a wagon and have him carry stuff for me. Oh yeah. Who else has to go? Avery, Avery and Brian already go? Yep. I won't. Oh, did you get his on video? No, I oh. I wasn't up here after he threw before I got up here. Kill out through you. I knew I wasn't gonna get it around, but I don't want to hit that. Like dad out here. <laughs> how many people does it take to figure out how you eat an artichoke? We've apparently more than apparently more. like we've never done it, and Noah just Holy got cow. stabbed by it. <laughs> Look at this thing. How do you eat an artichoke? Have any of you ate know. an artichoke I think before? Just, I would just it looks like it looks restaurant. like a like a flower that can like eat you or something. Like how do you how do you eat an artichoke? We're trying to figure it out. We have a recipe. It calls for spinach and artichoke. But we don't know what we're doing. We just keep getting poked by it. This is quite funny. Dad's settling for potato chips because we can't figure out how to cut pro properly cut up an artichoke so we can put it in our recipe. I know you eat some of the leaves. I would think that's the heart right there. I'm mildly afraid of that thing. <laughs> yeah, I got poked pretty good by it. That's funny. <laughs> so I think we pretty much demolished this artichoke. We watched a couple videos and by the time we somewhat had an idea of what we were doing. I think we killed it. Or I think I think we're just gonna I go with plan B, it. which that's, I don't know what plan B it. is, but we're gonna go with plan B. So what's for dinner? Okay, so plan B. We ordered some pizza and um so we're making a fire. Um my grandparents are coming out and we're all just gonna hang out and right now we're the dogs are playing. My parents' dogs, Toby. And Tiberius is just running around from in all the backyards like, huh? Yeah, I'm leaving his leash on for a minute. And he's just playing with himself with a little squeaky toy. And uh, there's, there's a pit bull next door on this side, on that side. The owner, the neighbors over there have a pit bull. And she's really cute and I don't feel like she's an aggressive pit bull. I just think that she's just a dog that spends a lot of time by herself and doesn't have any sort of training and she doesn't seem like she's very nice but I don't feel like it's her fault I honestly I'm sitting here observing and like watching her body language and stuff and I think I think she's just bored I think she just doesn't have any training her owners don't work with her like I think she just I think if she had an owner that trained with her trained her and like worked with her and taught her like how to control her yeah, I don't know her aggression, but I don't really feel like she's aggressive. I just think she just needs an owner to like. She needs like a um, like a pack leader, like an alpha, and her. I don't feel like her owners do that. So Toby, my my parents' dog, and that dog don't. They they've there's a lot of um, barking and aggression that goes on. Um, so I was working with Toby and with Tiberius. And we went over there and sat by the fence and just, we just sat there. We just like claimed our spot because it's technically, like there's a fence, but they can see each other. So there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of um, eye contact going on. And 
I don't know. I, I've done a lot of research. I've watched a lot of videos on how to understand the body language of a dog. They can't speak English. They can't tell you how they're feeling. You just have to watch their body language. If they look tense, if they look scared, if they're happy as can be, you just got to know the signs and the signals of what to look for. And it just drives me nuts, especially with any dog, but especially pit bulls. Like if, if you're going to have a pit bull or any kind of, I don't know, any kind of red zone dog, you need to understand what you're doing and how to train them and know when they're uncomfortable and when they're about to strike and if they're fixated on something, if they're looking at something, then you just you need to know what you're doing, especially when it comes to pit bulls because of their reputation, not because they're an aggressive dog and they're dangerous, which, I mean, it, it's the owner's fault. You need to train your dog and just don't be an irresponsible pet owner. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're at home and uh, I'm just going to end the vlog here. We're getting ready for bed and I'm just going to finish some editing and I think Noah's pretty much already asleep. So um, thanks for watching, good night, and follow me on Instagram at Kayla.Benoit14 and then you can also follow my Facebook page on Facebook. So talk to you guys later, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!